Sydney Water is the life stream of Sydney. We exist to provide world-class water and wastewater services to Sydney, the Illawarra and the Blue Mountains. We provide drinking water all the way up to the Hawkesbury River and as far south as Gerringong and from the coast all the way out to Mount Victoria and Katoomba. It's around 12,000 square kilometres. Each day, water from the catchment areas is treated at our filtration plants and transported through a vast network of pipes, pumping stations and reservoirs to our customers' taps. We supply over 1.4 billion litres of water a day to homes and businesses. That's around 560 Olympic-sized swimming pools of water each and every day. Each year, over 98% of our 1.8 million connected properties enjoy their water supply with no unplanned interruptions. Our customers are at the heart of everything we do, and we strive to maintain one of the most reliable water networks in the world. Once raw water from our dams and some rivers has been treated at our nine water filtration plants, it's dispersed through our network of 21,000 kilometres of pipes and 250 reservoirs across our area of operations, which is split into separate, partially connected systems. Most of Sydney gets its drinking water through the Prospect systems. The privately owned Sydney desalination plant is also connected to our network and can supply up to 250 megalitres a day to the Prospect and Moranora systems under agreement with Sydney Water according to the operating rules set by IPART. The water is first carried through large trunk mains before being further distributed by smaller diameter mains throughout the community. Our city has diverse topography, so gravity isn't always an option to move water around. To overcome this challenge, we have over 160 pumping stations, which move drinking water across the city to our customers. Sydney Water controls the movement of water through a sophisticated system operation centre known as the SOC. The SOC's role is to move water across the 3,100 kilometre trunk water mains to service reservoirs. It uses advanced technology called ICATS to forecast customer demand across the day and also seasonally so we can remotely operate our systems and move drinking water efficiently in a controlled manner. The SOC is staffed 24-7 and has the ability to respond remotely to emergency conditions and alarms right across the water network. Risk management of the system is also an integral part of what we do. We have teams every day managing the risks in our water network, such as the corrosion of the pipes and pressure variations, to ensure that only the best quality product arrives to customers. To move this amount of water takes a lot of energy. Water pumping takes a third of the 400 gigawatt hours Sydney Water consumes each year. Of this, 85% we purchase from the grid. The remaining 15% we self-generate through cogeneration at our wastewater treatment plants, solar power and hydroelectric plants. All up, these plants generate around 65 gigawatt hours of electricity each year. That's enough power for nine thousand homes. To keep our energy costs down and customer bills low, we think about how we move water. By moving it at night, we can avoid capacity charges and peak rates. By delivering and treating just the right amount of water at the right quality, we can reduce the amount of energy required. And we minimise the energy required by using variable speed drives at our pumping stations where it's appropriate. Managing the largest water network in Australia requires constant maintenance. We have hundreds of staff working 24-7 to maintain a reliable, high-quality supply of drinking water for our customers. Over the past decade, Sydney Water has invested $1 billion in reducing leaks and breaks across our network. During this time, we've cut main breaks by 50%. Sydney Water's leakage rate is within the target range set by IPART in our operating licence. We balance the cost of reducing leaks further with the impact this would have on our customers' bills. Sydney Water has a number of programs to reduce the likelihood of leaks and the amount of water that we lose when they happen. They include active leak detection and repair, which involves acoustically scanning for concealed leaks in buried pipes. If we find a leak, we fix it. We manage the pressure throughout our, our water network by using pressure reducing valves in higher pressure areas, which reduces the likelihood of leaks. 
We prioritise the response to each of our reported leaks based on the amount of water lost and the impact on the community. We have flow meters throughout our water network that allow us to monitor where water is being used and to identify leaks when they occur. We also have an ongoing pipe renewal program to prioritise the replacement of pipes as they reach the end of their life. We monitor leakage regularly and we adjust our programs where we need to. Leaks and breaks occur in all water reticulation systems across the world and Sydney water is no different to this. The water main breaks happen for a number of reasons. Uh, generally not due to age restriction of the water main. People tend to think this, but it has a lot to do with the, the quality of the soil, movement in the ground, the weather conditions and dismantled joints and pipes. Our customers are our eyes and ears of our Sydney water network. They report leaks and faults to us through our customer service centre, which we respond to promptly with our network technicians who will assess and prioritise the work and, if available, complete the repair. If the repair is required to be done at a later date, we inform our customers and advise them that another crew will be coming to complete the repair. When scheduling work, we make every attempt to ensure customers are not unduly affected by any required water outages, noise, road closures or excavation work. Sydney Water will also attempt to contact all customers who may be affected by any planned works so that they can plan their water use around this. If a broken main has caused damage to roads or property, we restore it to its original condition before the break. We test our water at every step of the process to ensure it meets the Australian Drinking Water Guidelines and New South Wales health requirements. The guidelines were set to ensure drinking water is firstly safe and secondly meets aesthetic targets such as taste, odour and appearance. These guidelines are among the most stringent in the world. We monitor drinking water across our entire network, from the raw water we receive from the dams, through our filtration process and throughout our network. And that's how Sydney Water's network delivers fresh, world-class water to 4.6 million customers each day.